Now, when we look at the base template study that I recommend you import, uh, you will find that a lot of good elements for surveys are already there. Now, every survey that we put out there um, and that you put out there as a student of Tilburg University should have a few elements. And the two most important elements are the information letter and the consent form. These parts of a survey serve to inform participants about their rights and the things that we will do with their data. In the base template survey, there's already a beginning for an information letter. Lots of things still need to be filled in, but it is in the standard format that is uh, the university requires us to use. And you can use this to just input the things that are specific to your study. So you put in your own name as a researcher and how you can be contacted with which email address. Um, you describe the purpose of the study, what participation involves. So for example, do people need to play games? Do they need to answer questions? Um, do you need them to rate any videos or do anything else? Then there's um, a brief statement about <clears throat> that people can always withdraw from your study at any point in time. Um, we, there's a statement about confidentiality, how information will be treated, data processing, reimbursement, so what do participants get out of participating in your study. This can be in terms of uh, financial reimbursement, course credits, um, or nothing, because a lot of participants, especially when you approach your own um, friends and family to participate in your study, um, uh, might not be offered anything in return. Um, they do it for the pleasure of helping you out. Then your supervisor will be able to tell you what the um, number is that the study was given when they were it was approved by the Ethics Review Board. And then at the bottom, there's a summary of all the, this information and a question that uh, participants can then check to agree to participate in the study. Like I said, this consent form and the information letter are probably the most important part of your survey. Now, at the end of every survey, I highly recommend that you include an open text box to just ask if participants have any comments or suggestions. This will tell you if participants ran into any unexpected issues during your survey. So after your first 10 participants, you check these comments and you make sure that everything was working okay. Because not everybody will email you or message you when something is not going well. And then there also needs to be a debriefing where you explain to participants what the purpose of your study was but you also ask them to keep it confidential for the period of time that the study is running so that they don't inform other people about the purpose of your study. Now, for some studies, this might not matter too much, but especially in experimental studies, this is very important so that people don't talk with each other and ruin uh, your study by telling other people about the purpose of the study, meaning that your experimental manipulation might fail. And then, of course, at the very end, you thank participants and you give them your contact details once again.